Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another S Tutor video. Today we have the Subaru Forester. This was requested by someone on Instagram. Let me check this. I believe it was like VTech Kicked In Yo. I think that's who it was. I'm gonna check real quick. I don't know why I didn't have this loaded up or anything. Um uh, crap. Uh Go Go I'm trying to find it. There's so many things. Oh uh, no, I believe it was on the Ah yes, here we go. It's VTech kicked in yo. Yes, I was I was correct. Um but yeah, I don't really know what sort of style we're gonna go here for for the Forester. I believe yep, that's the turbo one. I think. I think that's what that was. I'm not too uh what do you want to call it? Like informed about Subarus and especially the Forester. Like I don't know anything about this car. Um <coughs> Oh god. I think I'm just gonna do stock body the whole way around. Uh because that'll probably look the best. As for Um everything else, I don't really know the style I'm gonna go with for this car. Um I'm kind of leaning towards doing sort of a rally build. But or not really a rally build, but a uh what do you wanna call it? Like um a Baja style of, of car, I guess. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just try my best to make this thing look pretty decent with the parts that I do have. Mirror or zero one, what? What'd that do? What did this do? What is mirror zero one? <laughs> I have no idea. So I guess we'll just leave that as is um tow hooks will make it look more rally like rally-esque whatever you want to uh call it there let's go ahead and get that into position and then move it over to the left i'm assuming the tow hook is here by the way i don't know exactly where it is so uh yeah right there We'll go ahead and quickly paint this as well to be more noticeable. There we go. And then we'll do tow hook front. Check that out. Never knew you could do that, hey? You had no idea until I just showed you right there. Uh, I don't know why this is so weird. Um, but I'm going to assume the tow hook would be like up a little bit. Like there, maybe, right there. Alright. I guess that kind of works. Kind of works in my favor, maybe, sort of, hopefully. Alright. We got ourselves two tow hooks on there, and then we got exhausts to choose from. I'm not going to have it come out the back, but it will be a single, single pipe like this. Um... Actually, isn't there, isn't like exhaust, oh, uh, come on, not mirror one. Exhaust 11, isn't this a, no. One of these is a side exhaust, I believe. Or maybe I was wrong. I might have been wrong. I believe, I thought one of them was a side exhaust, though. I'm kind of thinking I was wrong at this point. Yeah, I guess, I guess I was. Uh, number seven was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll make our own side exhaust. That's kind of rotating that way. Uh, we want to rotate it sideways like this. Let's go ahead and move it all the way to the right. Not all the way, but you kind of get what I'm saying, right? Um, and then more so forwards wrong way there we go and we just got to fix the rotation and we should be pretty good I'll have it rotating backwards and then I don't know why it's like pointed downwards but we can't really fix that apparently jumps up I hate when S-Tutor does that certainly jumps up like that 
Uh, that's way too low for what we're sort of going for here. Actually, you know what? We're obviously going to lift it up, so I don't think that's really that big of a deal. At least for the moment, anyway. Um, maybe we'll rotate it downwards like that. There, that should be better. I think that looks that's looking better actually. Much better than it did, I should say. There we go. It's definitely a different side exhaust. I don't even know if rally cars have side exhausts. I'm sure there's there's a few that have had a side exhaust on there. That just makes things more interesting to add some flair to this car since there's not many part options. Is uh, what I was really going for in this case. Uh, as for our wheels, uh, we need some good rally wheels. That's what we need right here. And those would be... Um, the Focus? Focus are pretty good in terms of rally. Uh, I've never actually used off-road tires, so this is going to be different. Did it switch over or no? It doesn't look like they really changed at all. Uh, let's go ahead and set our suspension a little bit. Yeah, so since our suspension is going to be up, the exhaust is is actually pretty good in this case anyway. Um, I guess the brake type doesn't really change much. As for our wheels, the tires did not change at all. So I don't really know what's going on in that case. Uh, we will turn the profile up to about 55, throw complex tires on there to get something looking a little bit better. Maybe it did change the off-road tires. It actually looks like it did now that I'm taking a closer look at things. Um, the dish is fine. Maybe do negative like that. No, that actually looks stupid. You can see through to the brake. Um... Yes, a little bit of camber, like negative two. Then we'll offset it. We should do some some guards on this. I feel like that would be interesting, to say the least, anyway. Uh, our front axle move forward a little bit. I don't even know if we can do like any rolled guards or over fender sort of thing going on here, because it doesn't really look like it'll work out too well, unfortunately. Um, now let's go ahead and bring the offset in a little bit. Like that. That should be okay. And we'll move the rear axle forward just a tad bit. That is good, yes. This is good. I guess it's kind of sort of good. Because this is alright. Um, it's really not that good. Uh, something I do want to try, however, is... Ah, oh, I completely forget. How did people tell me to do this? Uh, just straight up ignore parts filter. I'm trying to figure out how to get the X13 chassis under here. Uh, do I go roof rear? Here we go. X13. Huh. Where are you at? I don't think it's going to be here because it's just like... Oh, I don't know how to do this. I completely forget all the tips everyone gave me for, uh, for doing this. Which is stupid because now I can't do it. That makes me upset. What if we go... Oh, if I do this, it's going to delete everything, isn't it? Um... Well, you know what? Let's finish the colors up first. Just in case this does screw everything up, then it won't be too big of a deal. Because we'll already be done, so to say. Or so to speak, I should say. So we'll, we'll use white because white looks really good on rally cars. Uh, our wheel center will also be white. We'll use matte white for the wheels. 
Actually, if the wheels are white, we should do like a red for the for the body. Ah, uh, I just realized I was I was on the wrong thing. There we go. Uh, our our mane should be red. Is what I was trying to accomplish with that. Should be more glossy. Like this adds more of a shine to it. I just want straight up gloss like that. That's looking pretty okay, I guess. <laughs> it's honestly not that good. I don't really like this build too much at the moment. Um, maybe if I had more options for the parts, it would be better. I don't know. I'm just not too good at building a rally car, it would seem. Maybe I could do better with an Evo. But uh, S-Tuner isn't really made for rally builds, I guess. Which kind of makes sense because of what it was designed for was like tuning your Sylvia in the way that you wanted it and most people would be lowering it they wouldn't be making it a rally build really um, also I, I'm not gonna be doing any sort of livery on it so it'll make it look less rally because of that but uh, whatever we're down to we're at not down to but we're at 11 minutes so it's pretty high stakes I guess um, in terms of time but yes, there we go. We have our our main little build here. Let's go ahead and go to the parts and see what else we can add here just to get um, maybe 510 box guards. Ah, uh, that ruined it. Well, um, yeah, I guess this will pretty much, that's our build right there. Let's go ahead and change the model and see if we can do it without screwing things up. And it screwed everything up. Okay. What if we do this? If we go ahead and copy it. And we go ahead and edit this. Move it to the left. And then to the right. Nope. We gotta move it to the left some more. We gotta line this up. Very precise and specific. There we go. And then we change the model back to the Forester. Yeah, that's screwed up. All right, well, not only did the build get screwed up, <coughs> but uh, my heater came on in the background, so the noise is going to be pretty ridiculous. Um, well, here's our final build of the Forester. I hope you guys enjoyed this build, even though it was pretty bad. But uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Be sure to check out my Facebook for the latest updates, my Twitter to never miss a video that's uploaded, and my Instagram to receive updates on my 240SX. Also, be sure to check out my online store to purchase MegFedLove stickers. All the links are in the description. I hope to see you guys there.